Hey, thank you for joining us for our webinar, Switch to WebEx Calling and Save. I'm Christy Anderson with the WebEx Marketing Team, and I'll be kicking off our webinar today. And now let me introduce our speakers. First off, we have Anurag Agarwal, who is a Founder and Chief Global Analyst at TechIsle, and Seamus McDonough, Sales Acceleration Leader at Cisco. And with that, I will pass it to Anurag. Anurag, take it away. Thank you. Uh, Christy, uh, thank you for the opportunity. So let's start off by understanding what are the top SMB's business challenges and the priorities in this new era of work, right? So we all understand that the world of work today has become highly complex and employees are distributed across and an organizations, various locations. Applications no longer reside in a centralized data center and work input itself has become highly specialized, requiring ongoing collaboration for completion of that work. Today, work from anywhere is the new normal, right? Enabled by really powerful communication and collaboration tools, which actually draw together employees and workers and contract workers, regardless of physical location. And these new tools are becoming the catalyst for change in, in all types of businesses, all verticals, all sizes of businesses. But what are the real primary enablers of this flexible work train? Right? So we studied over 2000 SMBs. And what we found that, that, that there is a growing commitment to leveraging the power of the cloud and adjacent technologies of mobility, cloud calling, collaboration, technologies that allow the employees and the workers and teams to connect, reflect, share insights and output. And we see that the five top priorities actually directly contribute to the top business challenges of driving growth, reducing costs, improving productivity, and enabling customer experience. I'm sure you will agree that in all of these top five business challenges, there is importance of cloud, there is importance of communication, there is importance of collaboration. So if you can move to the to the next slide. So what is this new era of work that we really talk about, right? We all know that now, right? That windows and walls and common area couches are not really defining the workspace of an employee anymore, right? There are certainly exceptions, but for millions of SMB employees, the workspace isn't a physical location. It's a virtual space defined by access from multiple screens, from multiple locations, right? So this increased capability of mobile technology has made it possible for employees to move their workspaces to wherever the work takes them, anywhere, anytime. And what we are seeing is that the SME segment has proved to be an early adopter of these remote work practices, right? So the data is telling us that 58% of the employees within the SMB organizations expect to work in hybrid work environments, right? And then also, when we talk to the employees of these SMB organizations, 42% of the employees actually want to work at least three to four days from home or any other remote location per week. So obviously this brings in new challenges within the organization. So if you move to the, to the next slide, so what are those, those workforce challenges, right? We, our research has uncovered many lingering concerns, right? Which I'm sure you will, you will uh, see that in your own organization as well with this new work model, right? Resolving these issues will be critical, right? We, have, we are talking about work-life conflict. We are talking about providing remote support, you know, having, giving the employees a lot more, a better 
mobile experience because they are working from different lo locations, different bandwidth, different connectivity issues and all that. And obviously, you know, the SMB IT staff or the SMB management, even the employees are really concerned about the security because these employees are accessing information, corporate information from remote locations, right? And then obviously it's about the work culture, right? The, the, the culture, the, 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 the teamwork. And we all know that the SMBs want to innovate, but we also know that innovation does not happen in isolation. That's where communication and collaboration also come into the picture. So Seamus, if we can move to the next slide. So we are finding that what's the fact? The, the fact is that SMBs are committing themselves to cloud communication and collaboration. In fact, 79% of the SMBs are prioritizing cloud-based communication and collaboration solution, which shows that there is an evolving recognition of these types of solutions. The need to communicate anywhere, anytime, also means any type of communication and collaboration, which may mean synchronous co uh, collaboration, asynchronous, schedule, serendipitous, on the go, fixed, within a virtual space, or workspace within an app with employees, partners, and customers. And SMBs are finding the early adopter SMBs, which I talked about, the fact that they have been very quick to adopt hybrid work, pa work patterns, despite the, the challenges, they are finding tremendous value in this cloud calling and collaboration solutions. So if you move to the, uh, to the next slide. So the, the, then, the, then the question you may be asking is, well, well, you know, Anurag and Takal is talking about the, the advantages and the benefits, right? So of cloud calling and collaboration. So how does it really help reduce the work challenges or the challenges of this new era of work, right? So what we are seeing is that again, turning back to the, to the data that we gathered from our studies that for many SMBs, the buying decisions for collaboration solutions are being influenced by a mix of factors, budget, existing technology they have, investment, refresh cycles, end user maturity, organizational culture, and so on and so forth, right? But what we are seeing is that there is a tremendous shift in the way the emerging drivers of the, the collaboration solutions have appeared, right? SMBs have been using collaborations in the past, but when you combine it with, with cloud calling, it gives them a different sense of empowerment, right? With a nearly 100% priority on cloud, a shift from on-prem solutions to cloud-based as a service offering is creating an inflection point. We are seeing that the collaboration solutions address challenges of hybrid work, the, the speed of innovation, which I just talked about, the, the customer experience, or in other words, customer intimacy, and so on and so forth. At the same time, cloud calling is also juxtaposing itself into this new era of work by enhancing the collaboration in terms of, hey, you can make calls from anywhere at any point in time, then you, it supports remote working, not only between the employees, but also enabling the IT staff to provide that remote level of support, which was one of the, the, the challenges earlier. At the end of it, what, what it means is that there is much better improved productivity within the organization itself. There's a lot more communication workflow, then there is a lot more, you know, uh, customer experience or much better customer experience because they are able to communicate with the customer even when they are working from a remote location. At the end of the day, it reduces op operating costs and also, also it enhances the scalability because as the economies of the various countries are coming out 
of this pandemic, SMBs are gearing themselves up for, 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 for growth, for scalability, for seasonality and demands and all that. When that happens, cloud calling and collaboration solutions actually lend themselves to that level of scalability. So if you move to the uh, next slide. So the, the question is, all right, it, it is there that the SMBs are saying that they are moving towards integrated cloud calling and collaboration, but what is that shift happening? The data is showing that there is almost a 100% growth rate in adoption or the penetration which means that if everybody's plan pans out, if every SMB's plans, uh, uh, plans pan out, then by the end of the year, we should probably see a 62% overall adoption of cloud calling and collaboration. That is among the fastest adoption of any technology whatsoever, right? So if you are not thinking about this, if you have not thought about this, or you are sitting on the fence, you need to kind of think about this as to what your peers are actually doing. This is not based out of our gut feel or our conviction. This is based out of the data that we have got from the marketplace. So if you move to the uh, to the next slide, so. But then there is value in not, in not only thinking about cloud calling and collaboration as simple platforms. There is value in having an integrated solution which emanates from the, the platforms, the devices, and the features and functionalities. If you, th if you think about it, this collaboration should not be considered as a dis discrete category. It should be considered as a framework that connects employees, customers, and, and suppliers, right? So there could be three different layers. The inner layer could be the solution layer, right? The, the platform that you are viewing this webinar on, right? It is could be a solution enabler, which enables from chat to voice to video. It could have a, asynchronous functions like annotation and and sharing and so on and so forth, right? The, the second layer is the, is the devices that integrates very tightly with that platform or that solution. And the outermost layer are the enhancements or the features which we talk about, you know, noise cancellation, you know, on the meeting optimization, easy management by IT, uh, you know, end-to-end -end, uh, uh, encryption, security, and so on and so forth, right? So what we have found in our research is that Cisco does understand the need for a fully integrated collaboration platform. And it's WebEx suite of offerings, including the, the WebEx devices, Web, Web, WebEx Go, touch each layer of the, of the framework and actually uh, provide a reduced complexity for the, for the SMBs and also give them the, the choice to really adapt the, the solutions at their own pace and their own devices at, uh, as they scale their organization. Above all, what is also important is to really understand how these collaboration te uh, technologies are being used within your organization. Uh, you know, so you have to look at your analytics, your, your performance analytics and so on and so forth. So if you go to the, uh, to the, to the next slide, so in, in, in closing, I want to say that there are various ways to ev evaluate your integrated cloud calling and collaboration technology solution. But what are the key factors that the SMBs are looking at? What are your peers looking at, right? They are looking at, you know, things like uh, security, reliability, support, features and functionality, integration capability, and above all, mobility. Right, so SMB leaders should actually consider the seven strategic purchase decision factors of communication and, and collaboration solution as you craft your go forward strategy. Seamus, uh, I will. Thanks, Anurag. It was uh, 
the, the information and everything that you gathered in the studies are just phenomenal. And it, and it pairs so well with things that we're doing here at WebEx. And I'm, I'm so excited to, to share with everybody on the call today, you know, what the future of work being hybrid means to WebEx and what it means to our customers and those that adopt it. You know, you, you talked about, you know, today, you know, people are working from home in the office, working from anywhere, that, that mobility piece, you know, it's, it's a mixture of these things, not only within the same day, but it could be down into the same hour. You know, you could be, you know, at, at home immediately having to, you know, drive in your car and, you know, taking a call, you know, taking a call direct from the car, um, you know, obviously hands free for, for, you know, for sure. Uh, but then immediately going to the office, and, you know, that can all happen. And you have to have this simplicity from an application perspective to be able to not have the ease of use, no matter if you're using a WebEx device, your own mobile phone, your tablet, whatever it's going to be, it has to be easy to use and it has to move with you. And work is not where you are. It's where it's a, it's it's just where it works. Not where you go. It's just where you are. Wherever you feel like you want to consume it and work wherever you need to be. And when we when we looked at WebEx and the way that we change it, we really realized that this needs to be a simplified one application. And when we talk about WebEx, you know, we, we don't look at it as strictly you know one service. We look at it as that umbrella that that brand name that encompasses everything: meetings, calling, messaging, devices, everything under that WebEx name and branding and that that reliability that it's been around for so many years and when we utilize this one application you know this simplifies your day-to-day -day work and it allows you to you know be more agile it allows you to get back to people in a quicker amount of time you know we don't want all these different applications in order just to communicate with somebody you know we want web, that single application to do that and it's really important especially when we're talking about calling you know, when we look at WebEx calling and having that business calling from wherever you are, that's key. With WebEx calling, that full UCAS solution, all those feature functionalities that you need to run your business, no matter if you were an enterprise company or a small business, this platform's custom built for that. I look at it as the Alexander Graham Bell feature set. I know it's kind of cheesy, but it kind of, you know, hits the mark there of, you know, having all the features that our customers need to run their day-to-day -day business. You know, those visual voicemails, you know, that call forwarding, audio, call recording, those things that you're used to getting on a physical phone that you aren't going to lose from an application perspective. Now, you can utilize WebEx calling from the physical phone, from the video devices, whatever you want to utilize it on, or you can use it on your mobile phone, your computer. All of these things, it needs to, it needs to move with you, it needs to work with you. And we also just need to be a platform that's going to charge you extra for turning on extra features that it relates to WebEx calling itself. You know, things like call recording are built in. That multi-line switching between lines. I know I've talked to many small business customers who have multiple lines within their business. They actually might have multiple businesses that they're wearing multiple hats for that they need to switch the lines between within the application itself. And they can do that. So those feature functionalities need to be built within the platform itself and it needs to be work for any size organization, whether you're one or two to three employees or you're growing rapidly up to a thousand employees or even more. WebEx calling is not built for, a customer, for an enterprise customer, it's built for any size customer. And we're also ensuring that we have the enhanced 911 features built in. You know, Ray Bombs Act went into effect here in the United States in January. You know, that FCC regulation where carries on Ray Bombs Act we are 100% compliant to those. Being Having the ability to call out on 911, hitting that operator, them knowing exactly where you are to send out that emergency response, being built within WebEx calling. Now, we used to you know, charge a little bit extra for this, but we're now building this directly in because we know what's important for our customers with our uh, relationship with Red Sky. It's key. We have, and we're, we're, if you're on the go, it's, we work with our with the major carriers as well to understand the location of those that individual. If you're moving from house to house or office to office, it's going to pop up. My computer pops up if I if I move somewhere else and says, "Hey, Seamus, what's the new location?" In case you were to call nine one one from here, you know those are the things that we want to make sure that work for our customers because it's important. But it's also other things outside of just the calling too that make up everything that is WebEx. It's that audience engagement. You know, we've had, you know, a thousand plus new features in the, you know, in the last 12 to 18 months, you know, all these different acquisitions as well. 
One of those being is the addition of Slido being built within WebEx. Now, these things where you can get real-time feedback from the audience that you're speaking to, whether you're joining a call, whether you're hosting a call, and understanding that, you know, polling real-time, getting that data, and being able to understand of what you're speaking of making sense, engaging the audience, making sure everybody has a voice on the call. That's important. And it's also the things around, you know, making sure no matter how you're, you know, you're having an event through WebEx events, letting the customer or that individual, that consumer join however they want to, they want to join. Whether that's in webinar mode, broadcast mode via, you know, website or live streaming. It, the consumer is, wants to, you know, you know, take in and join the meeting however works best for them. We have to give up, we have to give our customers the ability to do this and, and allow it to work seamlessly through across all these platforms. But it's not just about the WebEx thing and what we're doing here at WebEx, it's also the partnerships that we're doing and integrations we have with those other third party companies as well. As much as I'd love to say is, hey, once you have WebEx, you don't need another application to get in your life. <laughs> you know, we know that's not true. I mean, I have an iPhone, I have hundreds of apps on here. No, but the application itself needs to work with the other applications we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Salesforce, Salesforce, for example, you know, we utilize this internally, you know, to make sure that you can, you know, make calls out of their attracted information. You as a customer, if you if you have customers of your own and you want to make calls out of out of Salesforce, connect that in with WebEx calling, connect schedule a meeting directly within there. We have the ability to do that. As well as Microsoft. You know, that could look at it and say, oh, that's a bad word, Jameis. You work at WebEx. Why are you talking about Microsoft? Well, we have a partnership with Microsoft. We understand that our customers have Microsoft Teams. That's no big deal. You know, but you we also understand you might be evaluating WebEx calling and WebEx meetings for, for other collaboration needs within your organization. Well, that's great. Is we can live within Microsoft Teams and we can quickly be able to do this through our partnership. And it works with the devices as well. So if you want to place a call, you can place a call through the Microsoft Teams application that's connected in with WebEx calling. If you want to schedule a meeting, you can schedule that a WebEx meeting within Microsoft. Those are the partnerships that we have because we understand that it's important to, to work with all these different platforms and integrations. There's also hundreds of other integrations we could talk for long periods of time about, and I'm sure our sales team would love to do that. But these are just scratching the surface of what we can do with WebEx and how we can help you. But it's also about keeping your employees connected and productive and fully engaged. You know, you've probably seen things around custom layouts. Maybe you're changing the way that you're viewing Anurag and I today, you know, and the, and the presentation itself. Organizing the meetings the way that you want to join them and the way that you want to see them. Having custom breakout rooms. If you're having, a, you know, maybe you're having a, a big team meeting, multiple teams coming together to speak about a project, but you need to break away and have side conversations around a topic that was discussed. You can do that. You know what? Maybe you're, maybe you're training new hire employees from all across the U.S. or across the world. And you're breaking them up into different groups to have, to have conversations around different topics. You can do that as well. Presence is important. Presence always has to be there. Understanding that real-time availability and understanding that the connections are great. And closed captioning is, you know, as Christy mentioned in the beginning, closed captioning is turned on. You know, the ability to see that within WebEx Assistant and everything that we've built in is key. But there's other things that we're doing to continue to change the game as well. With the things that we're doing with real-time translation, to be able to convert those closed captioning into whatever language that you need to read them in. This is a true differentiator for us and something that we're continuing to build upon because we, we know that it's important. You never want to join a call and not understand what somebody's talking about. You know, that it's in, you know, our team has people throughout the world. You know, when, when, when we have conversations with those individuals, we want to make sure they understand what we're speaking about and vice versa. It's key. It's very important that we can, you know, show this and have this be able to be utilized in w no matter what language you need. But also we're addressing, you know, different shortcomings of remote work. You know, the virtual backgrounds and you know, other things that we all, we're all used to now, but they, those have to be built in. You know, what we're calling audio intelligence, you know, we talk about, our, you know, AI, but we're audio intelligence with background noise removal and focusing on your voice only. These are key things that we're doing, and I'm going to demo this real quick here, but 
when when you're on a call and we're all used to, you know, dogs barking, kids screaming, lawns being mowed in the backyard, you know, you have all this crumpling noise, people moving papers, eating shifts. With optimizing for your voice only, it's going to take those things away. You can, these are the things that we understand are important because we understand that people might be working with different people around them. When you're going, you know, whether you're, you know, going back in the office and you're working in huddle spaces and there's many people on calls around you, focusing on the voice that's actually on the call is important. As well as things like immersive share, immersive sharing, utilizing a video endpoint and being able to go weather person directly within the meeting, having the slides behind you and being fully immersed in the presentation. I don't know what I just ripped up earlier. Hopefully that wasn't important, but <laughs> I just looked on my desk. But these are the things that you can that you can do with WebEx that is ties all of this together. And, the and we have the devices and the spaces that work for any or any type of organization, any type of location. We understand that, you know, our, our, everybody wants the highest quality, you know, or the easiest way to connect and have real video these days. You know, we're, if, even if you're not in the same location, you want to be able to see that individual and connect with them. We have devices for all spaces and worker types. But you know what, as Anurag mentioned before, one other hot topic and something that the platform has to have is it has to be secure, end-to-end -end secure. It needs to ensure that no matter whether you're in a meeting, whether you're on a call, whether you're messaging with somebody through the WebEx application itself, you have to understand that that is secure and backed by a very private and secure network. And it's secure by design and private by default. It's built in, not bolted on. These are those things that we that you can feel trusted when you're working with Cisco and working with WebEx. You understand that you feel safe utilizing the platform. But something else I know that's important for small businesses too is like, Seamus, all this stuff sounds great. How the heck do we manage it? <laughs> well, we've made that simple as well through WebEx Control Hub. That single pane of glass for, man for managing your, your organization, your users, and your services. It's that one-stop shop for everything within the organization from a collaboration perspective. And you might look at this and say, all right, well, where do I begin? It's so we wanted to make sure that if you know how to set up an iPhone for the first time, you better understand how to manage your, your collaboration, your WebEx uh, portfolio as well. It has to be simple for you because we understand that small businesses need things that are quick and easy to use that don't require tons of time to be able to do this. And it needs to be at your fingertips no matter where you are. And it's not just managing one location. It's managing as many locations as you have and as many people that, as you have. And quickly being able to set them up. And look at the devices. Making sure everything's online and active. And getting a real-time view of WebEx services from a global perspective. And what that means to you. And if there's anything that was going on, we're, we're transparent about those things. You can easily set up users, stand up devices. You know, this device on my desk, I was able to stand up in 10 minutes. I'm not an engineer. I unplugged it, plugged it into the wall, connected it to the internet, and went into a control hub, got a 16-digit code, and thing fired up. That's how easy this has to be. So when we talk about the value of moving to WebEx, it's all those things I spoke about and more. But if you, if you wanted to you know, wrap it up into one slide and I can quickly summarize it all for you, you know, it's that single, con app for, that single app for continuous work. You know, Anurag talked about the, the ability to remote... That mobility piece has to be key. What you need to be able to take work calls wherever you're working. The WebEx app allows you to do that, whether it's an iPhone, an Android, whatever smartphone you, you might need. So that single continuous application for, for working. That intelligence and automation built throughout, whether that's that audio speech intelligence I talked about from background noise removal, whether it's the uh, WebEx uh, assistant that's built in, whether that's the people insights, whether it's getting the WebEx graphs and all the things you can understand from the data perspective within the organization. It's seamless internal and external communication well, from, from a collaboration perspective, whether that's inside your organization, outside your organization, how do you, how do you keep this global identity and architecture together seamlessly? As well as that hardware and software integration. You know, our devices, better work incredibly well with, with our solution. And that's, that's what we have. When you, when you tie together the video endpoints, and one thing I didn't even talk about that I'm going to bring up, not only when you, buy a, when you buy a WebEx device, not only will it work with WebEx, but we understand you're probably going to be asked to join another meeting before at some other time as well. 
as I'm sure Anurag has as well, and I'm sure many of you have too, the device will work with other platforms as well. So even our competitors, it will, it will work with that because we understand the importance of those. That platform integration throughout whatever application you might need to utilize and working with WebEx, security and compliance built throughout that single pane of glass that I just touched on, you know, ease of use and being backed by a, you know, a market leader from calling and meetings perspective, you know, that's key. So I think Anurag and I are going to go through a, a little Q and A and, uh, you know, continue the conversation. Uh, and then we'll take some questions from, from the chat as well. So Anurag, uh, you, you talked about you talked about the trend uh, towards a, a single integrated UCAS platform. This is a big focus for us at WebEx. You know, as we talked about, it, it provides WebEx provides that uh, entire collaboration experience. In addition to calling, we also provide you know the integrated meetings and messaging and sharing for all the product productivity tools for our customers. Uh, the entire experience is seamless and integrated in WebEx. How does this address specific challenges for small businesses? Yeah, so so we are seeing that you know using standalone platforms is a good start, but the real benefit comes from combining multiple capabilities, right? And we are increasingly seeing in our conversations with the small business customers, as well as in the studies that we have been conducting over the last uh, you know year or so, uh, we are seeing that these small business buyers are demanding the ability to connect discrete workflows into their broader work frameworks. They want applications to integrate with telephony, email, messaging, conferencing, and other systems so that the modes of communications can adjust to specific contextual requirements. And when we kind of drill down within the small business customers, we are also finding that 40, 45% of these small business customers identify productivity as a critical business challenge. And they're also finding those who have been using it that integrated solutions actually addresses this challenge because at the simplest level, they don't have to log into multiple applications to have that collaboration or that customer intimacy or or having that uh, that issues of driving innovation and we are also finding that in another crucial issue for a small business customer is cost right i mean the cost has been an issue for the small business customers for the last 20 30 40 years right and as small businesses are looking towards reducing their operational costs, they are also turning towards that integrated communication. Because once you have a, a bundle solution that integrates very well, which can be managed seamlessly, whether by a partner or by the internal IT staff, whether it be a full-time internal IT staff or even a part-time internal IT staff, who wears many different hats, they are finding that an integrated solution actually is able to help reduce that operational cost. It's, it's a great point. I mean, uh, you know, you talked about costs and, you know, you, you mentioned those things and, you know, we just talked about the offer a second ago, but I also want everybody on the call to know that, you know, we really under, we, we took a look at an understanding what small business budgets look like and ensuring that the cost that we're, that we're putting out there for our customers to consume WebEx really meets those budgets too. So that's another thing I also just wanted to mention as, as you just talked about cost and ensuring that it all needs to come together. So, so my next question is, you know, management was one of the key factors that you covered in your presentation. Um, here at WebEx, we provide that, you know, that single deployment and end-to-end -end management uh, via that, you know, control hub, that single pane of glass I mentioned. Um, you know, we talked about this is where the IT team can go in and, and manage everything. So how important is it for small businesses to have, you know, that, that single dashboard to manage the entire collaboration ex uh, experience? It is extremely important because once, you, once we start to, to study these SMBs or the small businesses, we see that you know having a single dashboard 
or a single uh, console or single uh, control plane kind of always bubbles to the top of the requirements of their care about. And why is that? Because in four out of every five small businesses, the IT, which is the IT staff, is consumed with support and maintenance requirements. And in 86% of these firms, this situation gets even more dire because there is an executive mandate to do more with less, more demands on IT, less budget, staff, and to respond to the pressing user needs. So there is a clear pos uh, paucity of time, of lack of skills, and, co and complexity. I mean, la lack of skills in the sense that, hey, technology is moving extremely fast. Organizations are moving extremely fast. So there is tremendous amount of choice and complexity also come into the picture. So having a central admin portal such as the control hub can really contribute to improved IT efficiency. And using the, the, the control hub, IT admins or even IT or even part-time IT staffers, I keep calling about these, these part-time IT staffers because we know that, that IT staff is limited within the small businesses. These, these IT staffers can quickly scale, scale up or down as business evolves with a single integrated portal to configure, manage user profiles, features, permissions, and many other different areas. Perfect. So, you know, to that point there of that, you know, single, you know, dashboard for everything, can you share your thoughts on, in, on the advantages of having that, you know, single vendor from a collaboration perspective for both hardware and software and, and what the advantages of that are of that as well? Yeah, you know, this is a challenge that every small business customer faces, right? Do they go with a single su supplier or a single platform uh, provider, or should they go with multiple suppliers, right? And this question is specifically important to small businesses, which have generally have limited internal resources, and they have to outreach to many different vendors, right? So what we are finding over the last several years that there is a consistent trend that the large proportion of these small businesses buyer are more comfortable dealing with the single primary vendor, with single primary supplier. If that supplier was able to provide the technology solution required to deliver on the full scope of the business requirements, specifically in this case, we are talking about communications and collaboration. And taken as a whole, our research says that the SMBs of those SMBs who are in favor of a single supplier strategy highlight three imperatives. Number one, the breadth of the portfolio or the product portfolio matters. Number two, Services matter. That means if there is one single supplier providing that end to end support and service, that matters a lot. Number three, probably the most imp important is economics matter. So Perfect. there is a trend towards moving towards a single supplier within the small business, and there are advantages to it. Awesome. So a couple more questions for you. So um, you know, we've talked a lot about mobility and, and bringing your own device. Um, you know, we talked about, you know, WebEx and, you know, how that single application. So can you share more, you know, some more thoughts on mobility, you know, being able to, you know, have that single integrated experience across, you know, for, for our small business customers and, and why that's important. Right. And I think we, we both you and I touched upon it mm -hmm. earlier in our, in our uh, presentations. You know, work from anywhere is normal, right? And it is being enabled by this powerful communication and collaboration tools, right? Which can draw together the employees regardless of the physical location. And workspace is not defined by office walls, right? 
but access to multiple devices and where, where the user is, right? So mobility is the great enabler, right? And mobility enables that cloud. And, and it is not a surprise that mobility is empowering the workforce and 81% of small businesses have actually prioritized the adoption of mobility solutions. And within that mobility solutions, this communication solutions are an, are an integral component. Yeah, absolutely. All right, last question for you, and then we'll, uh, then we'll take some from the, from the crowd. Um, and we'll see what's out there. So, you know, rounding everything up. So, you know, cloud, mig you know, cloud migration, you know, often seems, you know, complex, seems lengthy, you know, it seems like, you know, a difficult process for small businesses. You know, there's many concerns around, you know, security, supporting integrations, you know, all these different things in one place. Um, you know, you know, we step in and we support our customers no matter where they are in the process. That's what we do here at WebEx. And, you know, we can work with, you know, our customers directly. We can, you know, leverage our partners. We can, you know, streamline that process to make it very simple for them. So I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts and specifically from a small business perspective and what it takes for them to actually move to the cloud um, you know, as we as we kind of wrap this up. Right. So, you know, over the last five years, we have seen that, you know, cloud adoption has been accelerating within the small businesses. But at the same time, security has been a critical inhibitor, right? So, which is where I think, you know, WebEx solution kind of helped that process. But the other key aspect of it is that in the past, when when clouds uh, benefits appeared on the horizon, small businesses started to adopt this cloud. But now they are at a stage that they want some level of guidance around which cloud technologies to use and in which order. I think that is becoming extremely important. And then also what should be that cloud deployment model? So there are certain frictions, certain questions which are there in these in, within the small business. And I think organizations like, like Cisco and WebEx can really help guide these small businesses. There was an infographic that we had created about six years back at uh, at um, Tech Isle, based on about 10,000 SMBs that we had studied. And we call that the 20 truths about cloud that every small business should know. I will just quote a couple of them, right? One is the most important is there are multiple paths to cloud success. And cloud suppliers like Cisco and all play very important roles in preparing a small business for success. And the most important truth that was told to us by the small businesses when we were doing that infographic was, there will be no advantage in being a late follower. You should jump in and take advantage of what your provider is telling you and guiding you. I love it. Well, yeah. Anurag, I just, I wanna thank you for uh, for joining us today and, and, and having a conversation and, and really talking about our small businesses and, and what we, uh, what, what, you, what you've seen in the industry from, from your studies, as well as, you know, what WebEx is doing to, to help our customers move to the cloud from a calling perspective, as well as from a collaboration perspective. So. I uh, thank you so much for the time today. And uh, Christy, I'll, I'll pass it back to you as you want to close us out. Yes, thank you. Um, and I believe we addressed all questions, but we definitely will be looking at them post event and making sure we, we do address everything. Uh, once again, thank you to both speakers. And we will be sending a recap email uh, post event. Uh, we did record this webinar, so you can uh, review it uh, when you get the email. So definitely keep your eyes open for that. And with that, we're going to close it up and uh, wish everyone a great day. Thank you so much.
Thanks, everyone.